real washer, real dryer, not a combo. That's a full-size dishwasher. Look at that, that's a skylight, so this isn't even an exterior window. It's like a shaftway window. That is interesting. Oh, what is that, what is that? Good morning, we're in Bushwick today. And this is a fun area, there's a lot of restaurants. Leg and thigh special, that looks like a better deal than KFC. And if these are accurate photos, that looks like better chicken. But will it be better than Popeyes? I've been addicted to Popeyes for almost a decade and I'll tell you the answer's probably no. But don't go to Popeyes when you can go to Kathy's Green Gold and get addicted to things like oranges and tangerines and onions. But hopefully not all in the same sitting. That won't sit well with. And next to that, look at this. You could save money on everything. Like a neon broom. Nothing makes the rain fun like a neon umbrella. But if only they had neon uh, Crocs to go with it, then you'd have everything. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, they do, look at that. I'm colorblind, these are too small, but close enough. But check this out, the neighborhood totally changes once you get away from the train and over to by where this juice bar is. It is right across the street from this park and they have a Kale Yale Super Protein Malibu smoothie. If you don't know where to eat and you see a Peruvian place in New York, they're never bad. Get the chicken. Do they have chicken? Okay, yeah, they have like 10 kinds of chicken. And these $1 tacos, these look life-changing. Oh, man. This place is called Money Cat. It's Vietnamese. That's a cool theme. I bet it's really good. Look, they got a big set of stools over there and a counter. Maybe it's kind of like a diner and a restaurant. Down that way, we got a few more stores and shops, one of which is this little mini market so you don't have to eat out for everything. And that is a full laundromat, which we probably won't need. Then we got a plant store, local barber. I'm filming an apartment around the corner from this and I'll tell people that you have the best deli. That's good. Deli, brother. This is the deli right here. Check this out. There's like a light bar up there. It's not on right now. The only light that's on is this one, but man, what an interesting property. And what's also interesting is look at how pricey these neighboring apartments are. Look at, they're like these little townhouses. Each one is a different color. Which one is your favorite? Mm, I'm gonna go with the white, but let's be real. The only thing on this block that's in everyone's budget is what we're about to go see. So if you wanna live here, make sure you check out the video description. Door open. So this is a 2583, that's the total rent apartment with multiple rooms. Laundry, bathroom, this place is so cheap. Even I, as an experienced real estate agent, need a calculator to figure out per person. Ho ho, $654 for a bedroom in New York City. And it's not a bad place, yes. It's messy, it hasn't been cleaned. What is that? I was gonna say or spackled and painted, but it looks like it has been. This living room is nine and a half by 20 feet long. And with four people living here, you are gonna want space for a couch and an entertainment center. This pile of supplies, this could be where you put the entertainment center. And across from that where the bike is, couch in this corner. And against the wall here, you could put a small table or maybe you could put a bigger one 
possibly in this area that extends into the kitchen. Check out our view. We are facing this quiet tree-lined street. That's a plus. And this is not like a small place. It's a cheap place, but it's not small. That's a full-size dishwasher. Next to that, full-size oven, and look at this vent. This is uh, stolen from a restaurant or something, or purchased at Home Depot. Either way, we've got decent counter space here as well. There's a window in addition to the vent, so if you can't cook, you'll appreciate that. It also looks like we've got plenty of cabinets, plenty of shelving, and they didn't go with a mini fridge, which would be torture with four people. Only issue, you've just got this one outlet right here. apartments that have no power. This is our first bath and luckily it is a full size. We have a standing shower. I don't know why this light is like that. It's kind of creepy. Maybe they're gonna replace it. Probably. Anyways, look at this. Full bath. It could have just been like a closet or something or they could have put the laundry in there. This is the shower. It seems usable. I think that this is the smart decision even if you know, you're on a mission to Mars every morning. Look, they've got a decent sink too. It's not super, super small. Kind of has this little cutout for like toothbrushes. This is just a regular mirror, but we've also got some storage beneath the sink itself. And right around the corner from that bathroom is the other one. So all of the bath, oh, what is that? What is that? Okay, nothing. It's just a mark on the tub because even though it's a newer place, Maybe it's not 100% brand new. And it would have been really sad if one of these baths was like connected to a really good bedroom, then it would like ruin everything else for people that might wanna share. This might be a problem. This room is 14 and a half by 12. It's probably the biggest. And we got one, two, three windows, this crazy looking chandelier, and we have a little wardrobe thingamajigger. I guess that's useful. I just think this is a problem because there's no way the other rooms are gonna be this big. You could have like three or four more of those, any size bed you want. Wow, I just noticed the heater has this massive cover over it. It looks like an older heater, but it's good that they put this. You could put stuff on top of it if you wanted to. It's probably useful. There's just no way everyone in here is gonna pay the same rent if someone lives here. This room is worth at least a thousand bucks. And this guy right here is eight by 11. One window instead of three. You could fit a queen size bed and a couple of dressers in here. And when I saw the $2,500 rent figure for this apartment, I figured every room was gonna be like this. This window is like your own private terrarium or something. Boy, that, oh, that's so weird. Look at that, that's a skylight. So this isn't even an exterior window. It's like a shaftway window. That is interesting. Dimensions here are solid though. It's 11 by nine. And look at this, we've got an actual closet in here. So this room might be better than the first small one we saw. Bed has to go here. There's just no other place for it. Plus look at all those outlets in the corner. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, I was looking for more storage behind the door, but I discovered a full length mirror. What do you think about this? There's a loud truck outside, but this is the second best room. It's 12 by 10. There's like a construction thing going on over there. But luckily they don't work at night. And you could put your bed on this side or over here. And then let's say your bed's in the corner. On either side you could put closets, dressers. This is a good room. And you know something, they're all good rooms for somebody that wants to save money. And if that's you, check out the video description. Subscribe if you had fun today. Pick something else. I'll see you tomorrow.